All right, folks, good afternoon and welcome. And today we're starting a new series here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Golden Dawn and the Tarot Associations dealing with all 78 tarot cards. And today we're going to be using the uh, Rider Waite tarot deck. I don't have a Golden Dawn tarot deck, but I will eventually. And today we're going to start with the very first card of the Major Arcana. It's card number zero, the Fool. And it is on the very first uh, part of the uh, Tree of Life in its path 11. And it is our journey, uh, our life. We are represented by the Fool. And we're just going to give you some information about the, the, the card. And um, as the part of the Major uh, Arcana, the Fool kicks off the sequence of major life events. It's representative by the Hebrew letter Aleph, the number zero, the uh, element of air, and the magical title, the spirit of ether. Um, it is also the letter Aleph has meanings of master, teacher, wondrous. Historical meaning is the ox's head. The geometria is the number one, and its sound is silent. Um, We have other associations. We have uh, the imagery of the fool that I always believe that it is representative of, of us. And there are many different divinatory meanings. And we're just going to give you uh, a very small uh, uh, tasting of what this card is. And then uh, we're going to move on to uh, the rest of the cards. But so we're going to be starting with this and its uh, associations and divinatory meanings are folly, mania, extravagance, intoxication, delirium, frenzy, and uh, bereavement. And then reversed is negligence, absence, distribution, carelessness, apathy, nullity, and uh, vanity. And then also upright is idea, thought, sensitivity, the flesh, eternal life, spirituality, initiative, folly, and foolishness. In reverse, it is a bad decision, indecision, apathy, hesitation. In spiritual matters, it represents ideas and thoughts which endeavor to transcend the earth. In material matters, it represents and reveals folly, eccentricity, even mania, it represents a sudden, unexpected impulse. Um, one thing that I highly recommend whenever you start uh, the study of Kabbalah, uh, knowing that this is one of the first cards in the, in the, in the uh, Fool's Journey, which is the 22 paths of the uh, Tree of Life. Um, this is the first of the Major Arcana. is one of three Major Arcana that are uh, tied to a uh, element. And uh, one thing that I highly recommend before uh, you, you, you get into uh, the divinatory, stu divinatory studies of uh, the tarot, find you a deck, of course. But also, um, one thing that I highly recommend is uh, meditating with the card, literally in your hands, on your altars, uh, in your meditational spaces, and also, if possible, to use the tarot as vehicles in ritual. Have them involved in rituals and stuff like that. So today we're starting with Zero, the Fool, and we will move on. I want to thank you guys for checking out the video. I want to make a shout out to Pam Forbes and Alex McVeigh. They're my two patrons on Patreon. I highly recommend that if you can help su uh, support the channel, go to patreon.com, uh, look for a pagan perspective there. I'll put links down uh, in the video description. Also, we've got a new podcast, Pagan Perspectives. We've got it out on pod page. I'll put the link there. Uh, like, comment, subscribe there. You can listen to the podcast. You can uh, leave comments about the podcast. You can give ratings of one, two, three, four stars. A lot of cool stuff. This is something new for us. 
Um, I just want to take a minute and thank you guys for checking out and supporting the channel. Uh, we are going to move on to the next tarot card here pretty soon. Pardon my shaky video work with this. It's, uh, had some trouble with the camera. But as always, this is Reverend Sylvanus Tree Walker of the Order of Standing Oak and Raven Temple of CX Wicca. Thanking you guys for checking out this first in a series of videos on Golden Dawn, Kabbalah, and the Tarot.